for doing so. Speak to me now or I'll send the dog. First, they'll launch into knockdown. Look out, dogs are coming in. Then proceed up the ramp and through the window, engaging the spider web. After they've weaved their way through, it's time to get down for low crawl. Then to the second floor on boxes up and onto the tricky tubes of ductwork. Next, they must defeat door breach by pulling on two rope tugs before chasing downstairs and nabbing their suspect in the takedown. The team who completes the doghouse in the fastest time will not only win the top dog title, the $10,000 and $5,000 to donate to their favorite animal charity, they'll also be eligible to compete in our grand finale for the grand prize of $25,000 and title of America's top dog. Kurt, Nick, back to you. Thanks, Jamie. First up is Team Simon. What do you expect from them now? Simon is extremely high drive. However, sometimes the Belgian Malinois gets in their own way because they are very driven. We will find out. Great. First up, Team Simon. And Team Simon is off. First obstacle is the knockdown. Oh, looks like he's going off leash. He's going to get him with a good running start. Beautiful, nice high up there, and then they're going to go through the window. These police dogs do this all the time, jump through car windows. Then into the spider web. Oh! They try and simulate thickets with that 1,100 feet of bungee. Simon is actually waiting at the other end of the spider web. He's like, Officer Garber, hurry up, we're trying to win this thing. And now it's the low crawl. The low crawl, it's what these dogs do. Crawling under houses, apprehending suspects. Nothing new, breezed right through it, and now he's going to the boxes up. Officer Garber is showing Simon exactly what to do. He's making sure his dog stays focused. Now, they crawl through the ductwork. Now, here, up, up, crawl. It looks like Simon has a little bit of apprehension there. Out of duct work. Now a minute six. Onto the door breach. Simon. Needs to grab the ball, pull it to open the, the first of two doors. He seems confused right here. Remember, he was a little distracted at the fire escape in round one. And these ball tugs are very similar, so he's distracted once again. Well, he's went through a lot of mental and physical stimulation. So it's interesting to see if that's playing a part now in round three. Here, here. And you saw Officer Garber open up the door after... 30 seconds, he's allowed to do that if the dog has not done it yet. It looks like Officer Garber is having trouble getting Simon focused on the door. This is where the doghouse feels more like the house of pain. Officer Garber comes in with the assist on door number two, adding another 30 seconds to their time. Now, they will try to apprehend the suspect, release, and get back to the finish line. Garber calling for Simon to help, and it worked. Great out, great finish, spectacular teamwork. Team Simon finished with a time of 2 minutes, 47.35 seconds. Let's see that takedown one more time on the Chewy Kid. I always feel bad for this guy. 2 minutes, 47.35 seconds is the time it took Team Simon to complete their run and put the pressure on Team Roney to find out who will be tonight's top dog. Will it be Team Simon or Team Roney? We'll find out. The thrilling conclusion of tonight's competition is coming up right after this.